time it is. Marvin Devine. Hoover. Axel. And you know how we do. <laughs> yeah, I got the juice, yeah, I got the juice We game cool, make them look like cool Always play cool, that's the biggest rule Forget what they doing, keep on doing what this report card is all about every month they give you a report card um from dialysis listen i i don't know what they look <laughs> listen i eat what i want to eat drink what i want to drink do what i want to do you know what i'm trying to say because I, I i'm just that way you know what i mean i'm a guzzler what do you mean about the fluid what do you mean about potassium what do they mean about calcium and all of this different stuff that can happen nothing has ever happened to me i just had some pizza not too long ago and, you know and, and and some fries and everything else and some orange and some orange juice and all of this kind of stuff because i am just good and i know what i am doing i don't know what's wrong with them and i don't know why they <laughs> Maybe I should have listened <sighs> because this is the Lisa Baxter show giving you the 411 in a kidney world. Happy Sunday. How you guys doing? Mother Day is next week. How about that? Before we start our show, I just wanted to say a few little things like, all right, 
when you're trying to save a little change and a little money, don't have any shame in your game by using a, a jar or something big. You just keep throwing those coins in there. After a while, it piles up. I don't know how many things I bought or was able to do just by saving some coins. My father used to say something about save a penny every day and double and double it to the end of the year. You'll have a lot. Well, there was something to that. I know I told you about this before, but this vaporizer really helped me when I was sick. And couldn't breathe and stuff like that and so many other little gadgets but i kept showing you the box and not the thing itself all right let's not hurt our back we already got this sometimes you need a little little tray to help you out sometimes they have the, the traditional trays you can have in the bed when you're sick and this way you don't have to worry about spilling these things it fits on your lap it's really comfortable and it's really cheap it didn't even cost that much see the tag is still on it how about that so i wanted you to know a little bit about that to make you more comfortable you know what i mean you know sometimes we're dealing with different things as kidney patients or any other type of patients or person i sometimes deal with bleeding gums and uh paradox has helped me uh gum sensitivity and so the center diving has helped me you know i just like to keep my breath and my teeth right you know what i mean so you got to do that when you can't see there's nothing wrong with this this here magnifying glass. I might need it to see who's looking. I don't know, <laughs> you know, because these aren't my reading glasses, but it's very helpful if you are having problems with small print, no matter what age, okay? So keep that in mind. And look at the wonderful thing I've got. We, you know, you know, we had to do the green thing and about being potassium thing with the AAKP sent me the beautiful apron. Is that cute or what? Yeah, I volunteer with them. I do a lot of stuff with them and um, sit on some boards with them, ESRD Network, Polycystic Kidney Disease Network, all of those wonderful stuff, huh? All right. It's good to be involved. It's good to know what's going on, and it's good to check things out. All right? So let me introduce my guest, because you guys been wonderful and patient, and I love you to the moon and back. Listen, this guy is the best. You say, what's love got to do with it? Well, honey, love got plenty to do with it because he started a whole company and a franchise because his wife had PKD. Now, that's dedication. I don't know what you call it, but I call it dedication. All right. Okay. This guy name is Kyle Hocklebridge. Hope I'm saying that right. Well, anywho, he works in the fire protection industry, right? And he has a uh, warrior match, ki kidney warrior merch. If you have not heard of that, he collect kidney stories. He was doing interviews. He 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 big up the uh the kidney people and put their story out there. He's doing so much and created a line. I'm not mad at him. Y'all shouldn't be either. What? Welcome to the Lisa Baxter Show from Canada. Toronto, Canada. Can't, I'm saying it wrong. Kyle. I'm going to say his last name. Welcome, Kyle. Let's go. Woo! Woo! That <laughs> welcome, welcome so much. I am so glad to have you. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm sure everybody out there want to hear your story. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. You know? Uh, welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Hi. It's a pleasure. Hi. It's a pleasure to be on your show. I thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. You know, um, I believe in uh, true love. I believe in uh, sacrifice, and you done did it all, and it's a true thing. Um, okay, we're gonna start with your your job first and your work that you do. Um, what is that? What is the fire uh, prevention industry? What do you do there, sir? Uh, so my day job, I I do in fire inspections on fire alarm systems and repairs, fire alarm fire systems, alarm. fire extinguishers. Um, so that's my, that's pretty much my day job. Uh, in the evening, I'm a caregiver, a father, a husband. 
And I also started Kidney Warrior merch, which we started in June, July last year in 2020, due to the fact of my wife having kidney disease. Um, we started building merchandise for Kidney Warriors to wear. We've, we changed our whole avenue of looking since that time. And we started a warrior's wall where warriors can tell their stories, um, videos, a message of hope for videos, a warrior's memorial wall, with the whole idea of starting the conversation for people and giving a platform away from Facebook and Instagram to tell your story as a kidney warrior. Kyle. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Um, well, you done told everything in five minutes. I didn't even get to stick with your job <laughs> for a minute. I wanted to know, have you ever been in danger with this job? Have you ever oh. felt yourself in danger or anything with your job? No, we would go in after the fire had happened to make the repairs, uh, replace the fire hoses and fire equipment. So th there's no danger to me. Um, the only thing right now is with COVID, we take extra care wearing our mask and washing our hands because we're amongst a lot of other people in some warehouses, apartment buildings and stuff. Well, that's great because, you know, fires sometimes do so much damage. You can fall through the floor, the ceiling can fall on, you know, all kinds of stuff uh, can happen and be dangerous. So I'm glad you was never hurt or never in danger. That's a good thing. No, thank you. Know, you. That's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, how long you said you was working there again? I've been there 14 years now. Long time, long time. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, we're gonna drive back and back up just a little. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you, <laughs> when did your wife uh, know that she had a polycystic kidney disease? Uh, she was, it was in her family, as you know, being PKD yourself. But she was told at 12 years old that she was suffering. She had some back pain. I wasn't with her when she was 12, but she apparently had some back pain. <laughs> and her mom took her to the doctor. And with the ultrasounds, they figured out that she was a PKD patient herself. Early in age. Early. Wow. I didn't find out till I was uh, getting married and I had a checkup or something. And they showed me on a sonogram. And at that time, I was 32. So it, it took about almost 10 years or so before I got on dialysis. But um so, all right, she went, all right, so she had this prior to you meeting. So what, um, was she able to tell you about it with dating or when y'all were getting married or what, you know? Um, I've, I've known her since high school. We were high school, we came from the same group of friends. Um, so I didn't really know until we started dating and I didn't really understand at that point. Um, as we were dating, we, we witnessed her uncle pass away from PKD. Um, then her, you know, aunt after aunt, and then her mom finally, when I really started learning about PKD was when her mom became ill. Um, and she just recently passed about four years ago. Well, you know, sometimes when you find this thing out, it can be, uh, you don't always know, because I didn't exactly understand it either. I was, you know, listening, you know, growing up, hearing stories and hearing little things, but I didn't know anything till I got that letter in the mail. And my husband and I were dating at the time, we were engaged, and I had him to read it, and he read it, and he, he said he'd marry me anyway, but I was wondering, you know, he believed God with me, and you know, and everything like that. But you knew she had this, and you married her anyway. Was there any thoughts or, or friends or scares or anything? Or you? Um, yeah, I I didn't hear the last part of the question. Sorry. Hello. Things happen. We live. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Uh, when you uh. Did you 
have any reservations or fears getting married going into this. I know we, me and my husband went blind into this thing. You know, I start learning a lot more later in life, but it's a good thing if you learn early. So did you have any fears or scares or anything? No, at, at the time I, I never really understood what was really happening anyways and how the disease would progress. So it, it didn't really, I didn't get a fear of being with her or a decision that I didn't want to be with her because of this disease. And when I noticed her mom, go, mom going through it, I had a great teacher in her father that I knew I could handle it. And I wanted to be with her and create a family. Ooh, that's powerful. Come on here. I love that kind of thing. You know, that's good that you were able to learn from her father. You know, some people learn from their own father, not saying you didn't, but in this case with the, you know, with the disease and all, you were able to learn from her dad and watch him and observe him and get some gold nuggets off of that. And it'll be able to help you with your family. Did you think or have any fear that the children would have it um, once you did uh, get married and accepted and everything? Yeah, we still have that fear. We don't know today. We have two children together and we don't know today if they have it. We understand that there's a 50-50 opportunity. They can have my gene or her gene, but we don't really, we want to know and we don't want to know, but we don't want them to fall back if they do have it. We want them to live the best life that they possibly can. Knowing that PKD usually awakens and the patient suffers more in their later years. So well, to know, we just want to give them the best life. It was a discussion on having children or not, but we decided we, we still wanted to have children. I was trying to, I know what you mean. I was trying and I suffered several miscarriages and stuff. And, um, it can be heartbreaking and, 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 and you know, uh, very much concerned. You know, I didn't, I was worried, you know, I wasn't thinking about that at the time because like your wife, she grew up with it, knowing it already. So she had a chance to be strong about it, strong with it and learn about it as a child. You know what I mean? So that, 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 that was helpful. So I'm sure your kids will notice that how the kid, that's a good thing, you know? So that's a good thing mm -hmm. that, you know, you know about it. The kids, you know, I'm sure you will teach them or have taught them about it. I don't know their ages, you know? So uh, my, my but, children um, are, right. oh, my children are um, 16 and eight. And I have a 23 year old that's not with my wife in a previous marriage. That's beautiful. We are family. We are family. Okay. All right. So, all right. So we, we moving from your work to the family now to your business and what you have started. How about that? Now, okay. You found out she had it. You got an idea. How was your idea birthed or orchestrated? Um, the idea was birthed by my wife, Shannon herself. She was scrolling around on the internet and she saw a t-shirt that said kidney warrior on it. So she's like, can I buy this? I'm like, you can buy it, but why don't we help out and make them too? I had a little bit of experience with the internet and a little bit of marketing. And so it was birth at that point. Um, we made a t-shirt for her and purchased it. And then we said we should share this with the world. So we started Kidney Warrior merch at that point. But we, okay. go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead. Okay, but we decided that we weren't doing enough. And we were just, I felt really in my soul, I felt like you shouldn't just be making money on this. You need to do more for the community than just selling this. And it spread from there. Well, that's good because you know, you know, you think of all kind of things when you when you ill. You know, how could you get it out there? Kind of thing. You know, I remember you doing uh, keychains and bumper stickers and shirts and posters and all kind of stuff to uh, try to pins. 
you know, keychains trying to get the message out there about uh, the Lisa Baxter show because it's 11 years old now. And how about, uh, you know, uh, Blessed Kidney Connections and stuff like that. So you try a little bit of everything to uh, bring awareness and to be stylish and stuff like that. You got to see what people are wearing and doing. And I mean, you saw a shirt, she saw a shirt and got an idea. And then you went from a shirt to uh, other merchandise and stuff. What kind of merchandise and stuff? Tell us about that. Oh, there's phone cases, leggings, tote bags, um, mm. bumper stickers, um, All right, coffee mugs, pretty much um, the platform I use offers a lot of items that I can put that symbol on. I don't make them personally. I use a platform to that, that prints for me and then they ship it to the customer. So I can pick on, I, I basically stick with coffee mugs and t-shirts, uh, sweaters, hoodies, tote bags. Um, one of the reasons with the bags was my wife taking all of her stuff to dialysis. So it was, she has one that she <laughs> takes it to. So those are pretty much the items that we have. So you use the things yourself. That's always good. When you are trying to uh, do a product or something like that, you got to see how would it help you and how would it help others? Because, I mean, you want to know what it's worth, you know, just like us doing shows and podcasts and things of that nature and writing books and everything. You you got to think, well, how am I going to get this audience or these people? Now, if she carrying that to dialysis, not only is it comfortable for her and have all her stuff in it, she's also being able to advertise at the same time. And they see how it's working for her, that they may want or need a bag like that or something, you know, with that space or room. Because I know I carried my Bible. I carried my, my uh, I won't say Walkman. I don't know what it was. The, whatever it was I had with the music at the time and stuff like that. I put a little bit of everything in there, you know, even my snacks in my cell phone. So that's good. So do you, um, so how long you have, uh, you said a year ago you've had uh, merch, right? One year? Uh, roughly uh, about roughly, a year, yeah. about 10 months now. Oh, okay. And how has it been doing? I mean, the merchandise and the other things, I'm going to get into the other thing a little deeper, but how is it, how is it doing? Cause I saw some stuff I mm -hmm. wanted to look out. You know what I mean? <laughs> It, it, it does okay. Um, we we just make a little bit and then I put it back into the business. We're not taking a profit from it. Um, we put it in to advertise the other parts of the business um, and to help out some other people. So I'm not really taking a profit in. I do have a website that costs a little bit, you know, to keep up. But there's no real profit happening. We sell a couple of items a month and that's okay we're not obsessing about no, pushing the sales yeah no it's not about getting rich it's about i mean the slogan that we use is starting conversations so that's we we use the t-shirt in the merchandise it's happened with my wife with one of the items where someone said i didn't know you had kidney disease what does a kidney warrior mean so we're just hoping that if someone does buy our merchandise, it helps bring awareness to kidney disease. You don't know what's going to start the conversation. I know my arms started conversations. Even my hat started conversations. You know what I'm saying? You you don't know what's going to start the conversation. You know? So Correct. it could be anything. You know what I mean? Like you may some people have phone cases and it might say something on that. But whatever you have, maybe a bracelet, you know, this is, you know, the color green, you know, gets people's attention because it's so bright. You know what I mean? And all of the uh, different organizations and foundations have those different things to draw people and draw folks and spread awareness, like the walks and stuff like that. Now, how did the conversation start with this? You know, because you said you started out with a conversation having uh, different, I guess, kidney warriors with conversation. Tell us about that. Um, my wife I was just, uh, it was a friend in a mall that actually saw us with her shirt on and they'd been a long time friend, but just said, what is, what is a kidney warrior? And she explained it to them that she had polycystic kidney disease and that she had started dialysis and she was in search for a live kidney donor. So it's also 
started with a with a couple of other people that just don't know that she had kidney disease. She wasn't comfortable talking to them or they weren't close enough friends at the time that you want to share that kind of part of your life with. So the merchandise kind of just helps starting that conversation, uh, especially for someone looking for a live donor. So the odd, the odd person that doesn't even know that you have a disease or an issue that will start the conversation for them. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, people get, uh, people, sometimes it, it can be a, a easy thing and sometimes it can be a hard thing at that, especially when they see so much of your family into it. You know, I got PKD from my dad and then I had six siblings on dialysis, two aunts, uncle and my mother-in-law. And when people saw us come, like we'd be uh, in England somewhere or traveling, we had to have treatment. So when we go in and they look and they see all of us together, like in a, you know, a bunch or a group. And so my God, the whole family, you know, and it was just four of us at the time in there, but still it was, it was earth shattering for them. And these people worked there and some of the people were new and old patients. So you don't know who's watching you or looking at you or even learning from you. And it's a good thing to learn from this thing because you can survive. You can live, you can thrive, and you can do great things. And I'm glad you started this because you, we all got to start something somewhere to open up people's eyes that don't know anything about it, you know, or, or, or understand anything about it. And it's just like you said, get the conversation going. Now, you also feature, or I think maybe that was Jonathan, but I know he featured different people every month, uh, you know, you know, on the, uh, the quest. I mean, on the, uh, the wall, I mean... That he features people that you could see that they are warriors. And cool. I thought that was great too, because you get to see people you don't even know. You say, oh, and you hear their story and it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Now, one of the things I like is that people that passed away, you had uh, a wall for, and I, I sent you so many, my God, I'm glad you took them all. But I sent you my siblings and my aunts and everybody, all the ones that was on dialysis, you know, um, you know they fought hard, lived, hard and good so and you will put them on the wall i was able to send you pictures and stuff so if y'all out there and you had somebody that passed away this is a great thing to honor them with this you know what i mean and this is a, a wonderful thing to support as well so um tell us how you started the wall or why did the wall start or or, or what have you how was it okay uh, i'll start with the memorial wall the memorial wall was started as in it was a we constantly want to do more. We want to hit every aspect and try and help as many people as we can. And we started the warrior's wall based on my wife's mother. Um, she was the first person that we put on the wall. And it was just a way to honor people that have passed before, give them a place that we can remember them and remember their fight in battle. You were the second person that sent me something and a couple more have, followed since but we just want to honor people that have passed before and fought so hard and lost their battle well that's a beautiful thing to do because some people nobody know their story nobody know uh their love you know what i mean and that's a beautiful thing to show the love and the honor and the respect to that warrior to that warrior so okay so you collect the stories and you put them out there, right? Is that it? The conversation and the stories, right? Yeah, I I take the story, I put it on my website, kidneywarriormerch.com, and then I try and take kidney other kidney warriors and move the traffic to these walls. We also have the Warriors Wall, which you're also a member of, um, where we put your warrior story. So the the goal of this is to your story may help another warrior. You may have gone through something that they are currently going through and it may help them. So we also try and drive um, people with non, without kidney disease over to the wall that may be willing to donate to somebody and they could try and find somebody on that wall to donate to. So we put, if a warrior is looking for a donor, we put the information out on that wall also. And we take, I try and take traffic from Facebook, Instagram, and move them over to the website to view these stories. They're for warriors and they're for others, just to learn and start that conversation again. 
caregivers and the people that uh, the home attendants, they all get to learn more about warriors as they take care of them and as they do things. Because I know it can be heavy and hard. I've been a caregiver more than one time. And now you told me you were a caregiver, a dad and a husband. That's that's a lot of jobs besides the job you do outside and the things you do with your company. Um, do your company have a website and um, any any merchandise you want to uh, show or you wearing it or anything like that? I actually didn't grab any. I didn't prepare good enough. I <laughs> what? You want to get a <laughs> what? And I told you good, but just tell them the website and yeah. maybe the phone number. And that, that's better than nothing. We'll take that. We got something. We got your story and we got the website. Hey. So my website is kidneywarriormerch.com. Exactly how it's spelled. One, it's one long word. Um, there's a shop now button there that well, on the main page that will take you to the store. And on the main page, we also have all the instructions if you want to if you want to submit your story to us, we will gladly put you on the warrior's wall. We have a warrior of the month that every month they, I collaborate with Mr. Trailer of Hope with Jonathan and we pick somebody and we get them on his show. I've also been contacted by Impact America Media who's going to do a podcast of that person also. So our goal is, um, we're just trying to get your story out. So even other people with shows have gone to my wall and are taking warriors off to interview. So we're just, you can submit your story. All the instructions are there. A simple email to admin at kidneywarriormerch.com. And usually within a couple of hours, your story's up there. And we also have our warrior of the week who is special right in front of me here. Our warrior of the week this week with Lisa. <laughs> Which is just a way to, we honor somebody and bring people over to read their story. That so is lots, excellent. Lots that really is excellent. Mm -hmm. that, that's really excellent. And you know, you, you got to put it out there. You know, life isn't over. It's just beginning in a different chapter of your life. You know what I'm saying? A, a right. very good and a different chapter in, in your life. You know what I mean? So I'm glad you hung in there and you stuck. Uh, stuck in there and everything, you know, you stick in there and, and keep going, you know, and your wife, you know, if you, um, I book my shows every three months and I'm full all the way up to July. But if you know anybody, Phil, uh, by all means, I have been looking for a foot doctor, a dentist, a GYN and a, a radiologist. So I, I, I'm on to something with some of those because I like to do different resources for people. Some people have different illnesses and um, things they're dealing with. And sometimes they need that kind of push or help or learn to understand. If I get the ones that repair uh, the fistulas and the grass and stuff, they might not be so scared. I'm not scared to death. They tell me, oh, what? Get it cleaned out and all of that. And some, and I, and I was in pain when they did it. Come on, if the doctor comes on or you invite somebody on, you want them to talk or tell them about it like you were doing about your story and about your company and about your, your family and what have you. Um, what is in the future for your, your company? What is, what is, what is, what can we see in the future that you may have planned for uh, your company? Anything new or anything extra or any other dreams that you would like to put out there or orchestrate? We, um, this past week we received word and it wasn't directly through through kidney warrior merch but we had our first person receive a live donor and he was a member of the warriors wall and i received Ooh. i received an email today that he's doing very well warrior bow his story is on the warriors wall and we'll update his story as we get more information but that's a team effort so we are blessed once we join with a warrior there's lots of people that we, we're just getting your story out. And it's great to be part of a team that can help a warrior get their story out. In the future, we're, we're adding new new designs all the time, trying to design new, new looks for everyone. But we're gonna be hosting another wall. So we have our warrior's wall for warrior stories. We have our memorial memorial wall. And the new wall coming out, I'm working on it in the background, is going to be a wall for heroes, those who have donated deceased or live, to honor those people. I love it. I love it. Wow. Well, congratulations on that. 
Um, is there uh, anybody you can encourage or you want to give a shout out to somebody? Because I'm going to end the story. Nurse Steve Belcher have a show right after this one yep. at 9 o'clock. So, yeah. Well, I'd just like to thank you and everyone else for having me on their shows. It's uh, great to get the word out. And, you know, my wife for putting up with me. <laughs> I'd like to thank her. But just to all the warriors out there, if you don't use my platform, that is okay. If you don't buy any merchandise, that is okay. But I just feel it's very important to get your story out especially if you're looking for a live donor. There's lots of us out there that can help you. We're one team in the end. Yeah, so that's right. so to me, it's just very important to, to tell your story at your comfort level, oh. be it a blog post, a video, but we can help you and we can even connect you with people if you need help. Wow. Okay, well, thank you for the shout out and thank you for the encouragement. You know, for any caregiver out there or anybody that wanted to start a business, you know, keep doing your thing, keep doing, you know, it's not a competition. We all in this together. All of us are, you know, running the same race, trying to get to the same finish line. You know what I mean? I uh, donate my books and stuff. I don't just sell them. I donate them to prisons and colleges and schools and everything, you know, or even sell it cheaper than what it what it is. You know, so it's not even about that, like you said. But I appreciate you, what you're doing, and your story. My best to your wife. He's next. You know, <laughs> I'm going to get her. So, you know, I hope to get her. So, um, have a great night. Thank, Thank you very you much. much. And take her out good for Mother's Day next week. I'm sure you got plans. And, it's uh, not Mother's Day in Canada. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, it, is. it is. It is. It is. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless. Have a good night. You too. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys have heard it. All I can tell you, that was wonderful and great. Easy and fast. All I can say is uh, my scripture for you is eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, nor have it entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for you. So look out for those blessings. Good night. I love you. V for victory and peace. Ah. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. This is the Lisa That's the show Giving you the One, one, one And it can be one This is Ride or die, I keep waiting on my side. CJ 